That's very odd. It was it was showing up on mine, but it obviously wasn't showing up yours. Ooh, trapping. Cooking for beginners, that's going to be useful. <laughs> Kali, it, it, you that is that is your that is your question, isn't it? You know. Hello, I'm Kali, you've got to play The Sims. If we get bored with this, I will play The Sims. If we don't play The Sims, I will put it up on the voting rotor for next week. How's that? Okay, right. I shall put some of this stuff away while you guys are mocking me. Because you do such a good job of it. Master Carpentry, we're not going to need that for a little while. Um, newspaper, don't need any of this at the moment. So let's keep it somewhere safe. That way if we die, we just need to find this house again. What's that one? Tired, hikish, and unpleasantly hot. I've just realised I've been hearing some thumping in the background. It's either zombies trying to get in, which would not be a good thing. Or indeed the zombies are already in. And I can't see anything because it's too dark. So let's not worry about that for just now. Um, do I have any sheets? Yes I do. Unpack that sheet. Get some of these up on the... Uh... Wow that's loud. the curtains is it a little bit hard for monsters to see us what do we got to eat steak water oh so I've got to, I've got to turn that down it's, it's, it's actually hurting my ears at the moment um, sound volume let's put that down to five uh, okay right Okay, let's make something to eat. Alright, uh, so... Where's that frying pan? Here we go. Alright, create stir-fry from steak. Where's that frying pan? Oh, it's steak stir-fry. Stir fry, add steak. We've not got any vegetables we can add. Let's see if we can add some vegetables. Uh, we've got any vegetables. Pickle, pickle would be nice. I actually go for some pickles right now. Uh, what about in the fridge? Bell pepper. There we go. That would that would go very nice. Okay, so the stir fry. Oh, there we go. Add bell pepper. Uncooked steak and bell pepper stir fry. That's some more steak. There we go. All right, now we need to cook that. So we turn that on. And we'll just drag that across. And we shall uh, let that cook. Is it easy to fight the zombies? An individual zombie, especially the way we've got it set, is actually quite easy to cook. Uh, cook? Quite easy to kill. <laughs> Hello, bit like. Um, provided they don't sneak up behind you. But there are places where hundreds of them gather together, and that is a bit difficult. Hmm. 
it's the, that's exactly the right word, Mandarin Moon, and there's nothing wrong with getting slightly inebriated from time to time. Right, so that's steak. Still plenty of steak there. So we're hungry and we're tired, so we'll sort that out, and then tomorrow we'll get ready to go hunting around and see what bits and pieces we can find. So that'll get rid of a lot of hunger and some boredom and some unhappiness, which is uh, a good sign really, isn't it? Just waiting for that green line to get all the way up. And we've got to make the most of this because uh, one of the problems we have here is that the power and the water are going to run out fairly soon. Now that's burning, so we will take that back into our inventory now. Turn off the oven because we don't want to start a fire. And let's eat some of that. Uh, let's eat a quarter of that. Um, we're still hungry. So let's eat half of that. Very well fed. Excellent. That's given us a healing and strength boost. <laughs> I, I'm not entirely sold that you guys want to hear me drunk, but uh, okay, I can't find my way around upstairs because I can't find the light, so we'll just sleep in this chair. Oh, that's changed. What's the time? Well, okay, so if we sleep um, six hours, there we go. So that's reasonably early in the morning. And right, let's get back to storing our bits and pieces. Who are. And we'll keep all that stuff. We'll put the steak in the fridge in a second. Um, just get these books in here. And let's see, let's. Let's quick look at our skills. All right, we have no skill modifiers going on at the moment, but we have a skill point available. We actually haven't actually done enough to apply the skill point to yet. Uh, so we should start reading some of these books. Reading cooking would be good. Reading carpentry, farming. In fact, reading any of these would be good at the moment. Fishing, trapping, and foraging, we don't know how to do, which they're probably going to be very useful stuff very soon. Firearm is useless. We need some sort of weapon skills. But... At the moment, there's nothing much we can do with that, so we shall not bother. Um, let's get some more of this stuff stored, and then we'll go hunting from house to house looking for bits and pieces. So, uh, All right, let's eat all of it. That sounds utterly, utterly disgusting to me. But let's... Uh, Given us uh, a bottle, I hope. So let's hope we can fill that up. Fill a bottle with the remoulade. Fill a water bottle. Okay, so that has given us three water bottles like that and a water bottle like that. So that's plenty of water we're carrying around with us. We'll keep that steak and bell pepper stir fry with us. Um. But there's no need for us to carry the steak. We have the ice cream when we come back. But we will carry that stuff with us. Because that's you know, quite lightweight food. I just want to get rid of some junk so we can actually start carrying stuff when we go to other houses. A bye bye battery, beef jerky. I think we'll carry with that. But we'll put that in the fridge. And we'll put that in the fridge. Don't really need to be in the fridge, but it's going in there anyway. Uh, chocolate should go in the fridge. Chocolate should always go in the fridge. Um, just store all this stuff up. We've got lots of food here, which we're going to have to eat through before it goes bad. But that's not necessarily a bad thing, really, is it? Let's get that milk in there. And... 
go pickles get all this junk sorted good lord we picked up a lot of stuff didn't we um, okay that's good that's all we need to do to put in the fridge and let's get some of this stuff sorted as well mm. tuna don't need matches and a lighter so we'll drop the matches off uh, garbage bag under the kitchen sink seems like a good idea coffee Reduces, unha reduces stress, increases unhappiness. I think we might start smoking in a little bit. Uh, can, can opener in there. Go! Just notice we have another book here. Like that. And we shall use... The sh oh, there's a sh 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 shelf out here. A set of shelves out here. And we should just dump a lot of the rest of this junk into it. It's all going to be very useful for us sooner or later, but at the moment it's no help to us at all. So let's just clear the space so we can go scavenging. I thought for a moment I'd wasting my time there. It's just going to put one item in. All right, excellent. That's made us a bit lighter. And put the hammer in there. Put the nails in there. I know the hammer is a good weapon, but it's absolutely imperative for crafting. So I don't want to uh, have it carried around with us all the time. But now we need a new weapon because we've got lunch in our existing one. So let's have a quick look through some of these places for. Oh, there we go. There's our new weapon. And right. Well, it's uh, nice of you to pop along, Minosha. I hope you had fun. Let's have a quick shifty through here. And make sure we don't know zombies in the ta in, in the house. And if there's anything interesting in these cupboards, blouse a sheet, we'll have that. And close. Um, move the curtains. Oh, because the, the curtains, the, the the windows we want to cover up are the ones that are downstairs. So if we have some leftover once we're done downstairs, we shall put these back. Got a sheet. Grab that. And into the bathroom. No kitchen sink, well, no bathroom sink by the looks of it. How very unhygienic. Right. Let's get some curtains up here. Sheet. Okay, let's close the curtains. That's good. All right. No, don't try opening it. Ah. Close window. Close curtains. There we go. Right. That's going to make it harder for zombies to see in. Which makes this a safer place. And... I'm just going to drop these on the floor here. We'll pick them up later on. Okay, so we have some food. We have some drink. We've sorted, sorted through this house. And now I think what we should do is actually go hunting for bits and pieces. So, last time we were playing this, and believe it or not, I can think back that far, we were coming up from this direction, 
So I think what we will do is we'll actually the house right there. Let's go and have a quick look. Can we not climb over this? Okay, we'll deal with you first. He's getting getting the timing right here is the difficult bit. Kill him! Kill him! There we go. Uh, a wallet? No, nothing worth anything there. Okay. And we're hungry. Yay! Oh, crap! Didn't even see him. <laughs> this is Project Zomboid, okay? I want you to imagine The Sims um, are post-apocalypse and you've basically got Project Zomboid. Okay, hi. I was trying to get over that fence. If the zombies can do it, I can do it. Alright. Or we can just stand all day killing zombies. Carry that with us. No, it's not going to let us climb over. That's annoying. Probably doing something wrong. Let's try shifting and going that way or controlling and going that way. No? Okay, well, I'll have to look that one up later on. Okay. House up there. A lot of zombies down here. Okay, let's take these guys out. When it's two of them, that becomes a bit more difficult, but it's not impossible. That's one down. And that's the other one. I think, to be totally honest with you, as a post apocalyptic Sims game would have been absolutely fantastic. Pencil, we'll have that. And seeing as we're walking past it, have a look in here, shall we? Oh, I almost didn't see you there. Very unforgiving, this mechanic. If you're pointing in the slightly the wrong direction, then you'll completely miss the zombie. Uh, scan. Zoom out a little bit. There's a shed there. They're often useful. There's loads of zombies over there. That's often terrible. Let's go and have a look in through the back door. Uh, okay, let's kill this guy. Uh, oh, hell. Let's kill all these guys and then look through the back door. Okay, I'm getting a little bit worried about the number of... Uh, opponents and the fact we're getting hungry all right let's get away from those a little bit in fact let's get away from those an awful lot okay um, all right one of them is persistent so we'll kill that one Oh heck! Where did he come from? She come from? Uh, 
multiple zombies is so much harder! One down. Come on. And two down. Excellent. Right. Empty notebook. We'll have that. And what do you got? Nothing. Did I pick up that empty notebook? No, I didn't. Let's grab that. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> right. Okay. Let's go and sort ourselves out and then we'll go and uh, try this again in just a minute. We are uh, suffering from moderate exertion. We are drowsy. Excuse me. We are very hungry. We have very strong panic and we are soaking wet. And I don't think we have any bath towels, so the soaking wet bit is going to be hard to sort out. Um, but at least we can deal with a few of the other bits and pieces. So let's eat some of this. So we'll eat all of that. Okay. And we are still hungry. Alright, so let's go and find something else to eat. And ice cream's going to go bad. Anything else there that's likely to go bad very quickly? No, let's eat the ice cream first, see if that helps us out. Eat all of that. We're still hungry. Eat some pie. There, that's got us back. That's sorted us out a little bit. Right, let's go and have a nap, and then we shall try doing this a bit more. So, sleep. The time. Oh, it's actually it's late. Seven uh, eight. Let's sleep. Get a good sleep out of that. It'll probably feel better. Oh, great. Somebody's just shot a bullet. Um, that's basically an event in the game that rearranges all the monsters in the game. So, okay, that's got rid of all of our status effects. Uh, let's make some more food. Onion. Steak. Radish. Yeah, and great stir fry from steak. Wrong one. Let's add a few bits and pieces. Add an onion to that. And all right, we can't add the radish to it. That's annoying. Well, the radish should have gone well. What else can we put in that? Nothing really there. Nothing is jumping up and down and saying, put me in a stir fry. It would be probably not worth eating it if they did. Oh, we got peanut butter and bread. I wonder if we can find some butter and we can make some sandwiches. Chips. I should be carrying those around with us, I think. No. Oh, and a water bottle. We should definitely be carrying that around with us. Right, let's cook that stir fry. Turn it on. And we'll try that again in just a minute. And we'll cook that, take it with us. <laughs> I think possibly because the shopkeeper would be trying to eat our face uh, a bit late to the game. Yes, butter. Okay, I'm willing to try that. How's that cooking? Okay, we've got a bit of time. Let's go and get a skirt. And let's hopefully she won't be spending most of the game topless this time. So we have a skirt there. Watch a wonderful colour. <laughs> 